Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I want to talk to you about a new knife company that I've just started working with. It's right there. You can see it. Yukon River Knives. Let's see if we can get that to focus in. There we go. Focus, focus. Yukon River Knives. So these guys uh, work to make some very cool outdoors knives, a lot of hunting, fishing, those types of knives. Let me give you a rundown uh, about the knives, just show you a bunch of the different options that they sent to me. Um, I'm not getting any kickback. They're not paying me big bucks for this. I just like what they're doing. I like Jeremy, who I've gotten to know over there. And um, Jeremy will comment in the comments down below to let you know about their manufacturing process uh, and how they have gotten a bunch of these knives made in conjunction with White River knives. All right, let's start off and look at the processing knife. So it comes in this nice case padded inside. Here is their processing knife. Look at that thing. And I'll roll in some of the details here on the bottom of the screen. But I mean, that is just a beautiful knife for processing. Now for me, I look at this and I'm like, that's going to definitely work for what I do, which is more fishing than hunting. But super comfortable in hand. Just a beautiful look there to that knife. Thin handle. I mean, you could definitely use it just as a straight up kitchen knife. It's going to be thin. You don't want to use it as just a generic outdoors knife. But processing up your game. I mean, this thing, it's just a really, really nice looking knife. So I'll just give you a close up there. And again, in this video, I just want to give you a taste of some of the different knives they have available. All right, so the processing, this uh, processing knife is running at 225 for that one. We've got another one. This is called the Green River Skinner. And you can see that one's already seen some use right there. But when I first saw this, it reminds me of, is the JG5, the James, James Gibson 5 from Essie. Got a similar look in general. Um, that one's thicker and kind of heftier, but uh, a, a overall kind of a similar look and feel. This one's running 225 as well. More compact, obviously, than the processing knife. But the Green River Skinner is this one. And particularly, take a look at the tip. I mean, that's way more piercing. That's, you can certainly pierce with that one, but it's a little bit more rounded. That one's definitely pointier. Um, compact little knife. Feels good in hand. I got large size hands just holding it like this. I'm like, yep, I could see myself doing some work with this thing. Here's the leather sheath that it comes in. Super rustic looking in the, in the, in the best possible way. Not like bad rustic, but good rustic. Cool sheath there. Green River Skinner, again, 225 for this one. There's another knife that these guys at Yukon River Knives are, that they're uh, putting out. Next up here, we have the companion knife, which when you look at it, you're like, yep, that's a companion knife. So um, not a huge blade, not a real long, like, you know, five, six, seven inch blade, but certainly very usable for a lot of outdoor tasks. Comes in a nice leather sheath. A little bit more of a tan feel as opposed to the Green River Skinner's got uh, definitely a darker look between those two. You can see, I'll put them side by side there. There's that. Companions running 275. Look at those handles. Really pretty. This is definitely one of those buy once, cry once types of situations, right? You're going to definitely invest the money up front. Nice steep edge there for scraping or for throwing a spark off a of fire steel. Um, this one reminds me of like the JG, and you, um, you're going to hear me comparing them to SE Knives because I love SE Knives, but actually not the JG. Uh, it's the RB4. Correction, the RB3. RB3 from Essie. Yeah, which is really one of my favorite knives. It might be my, my favorite knife of all time as far as a, a general use outdoor knife. I love that. I love that knife. And this has a very similar look and feel to that. And again, it rides down nice and deep in that sheath there. So that's a uh, another cool knife from our friends at Yukon River Knives. All right, next up we have this, which is the small game knife, 2.62 inches for your blade. Really good looking, and you'll see on the back there, you can see White River Knives. So that's why it's worth checking out the comment down below from Jeremy, which will tell you about their relationship with White River Knives and producing knives and stuff. But just a, that's a great little knife, compact there. Um, one of the things that's so interesting to me is that despite the, that the handles are, are not thick and big and chunky like, for example, a Rat 7 or an SE5, which I, I tend to prefer, I find them super comfortable. And that's even with, you see that wound there, I burned my hand one day recently. But in hand, they just feel really, really manageable. So nice knife there. Let me say the sheath for this guy. Leather runs nice and deep. You got a, a um, lanyard hole there at the end. There's the back of the leather uh, sheath. Yeah. Small game knife, obviously, 
built for small game you know taking care of your small game when you're out there uh, out there in the field so look at that Shh. nice Yukon River knives I've got a couple more to show you here this next one's a little bit bigger than the small game this is called the hunter very similar style as far as what it looks like s35 vn for your steel you got nice micarta handles there another lanyard hole similar type of sheath it's kind of a like i said it's a bigger version of the uh of the small game small game knife and a great steel for in general but particularly for the outdoors got some corrosion resistance and something like an s35 vn there's that guy and then um, I've got two more. Actually, one I made a short on. So check out the short videos that I made. That was one of their, um, it's kind of like a, it's not kind of, it is like a, a kitchen knife, but you can use it in the outdoors as a kitchen knife. This is the last one, which I'll probably do a more in-depth review on. This is the ATK Always There knife. And super lightweight, you can throw some, uh, you can do a paracord wrap. If you want to get some handles, you could throw them on there. Rides in this very compact sheath and obviously built to be a neck knife like so so definitely a, a cool compact little blade lightweight s35 yen for that steel as well so pretty pretty slick just like the handle there let me grab a hold of this without hurting myself see the handle there so all that all getting all that milled out is going to obviously reduce the weight significantly and i'll show you the sheath up close as well it does click in nicely and one thing i do like is they give you the breakaway here for the uh for the um lanyard around your neck which is it's not a deal breaker for me but it is a bonus in case this ever gets caught on something that's going to snap off on the back and not choke you out so yeah um, i wanted to show you guys these knives to let you know about a company that i'm working with that i believe in so yukon river knives um, link down below in the description section to their website so head over there and learn more about them if you got questions feel free to leave comments jeremy from yukon river knives will be checking in on this video to uh you know basically to uh, respond to comments, questions, things like that. But um, if you have questions or you want to learn more, comment here and also check out their website. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking them out. Let me hear your thoughts on these knives, any feedback you have to offer for me and obviously for the uh, the company as well. And like we always say here, thanks for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.